We know where we're from and we know where we want to go. Every people from outside of a country, the things, the image they, they told you about Rwanda is genocide. Even now, we, it's, we are a country who developed and everything, but they still have that image. As soon as I landed in Rwanda the first time in 2010, I could tell that there was another story. A story of survival and resilience, of forgiveness and hope. And I remember feeling instantly that the world needed to see the Rwanda I was seeing. You left here when you were seven and went to the city. Because of hard life, you know, ever since you don't have parents, it's yeah. difficult even to survive. It wasn't an easy life here, and I don't think any of his relatives really wanted him. I wished to prosper, to learn, to go to school, to achieve something, to be a better man someday. It's possible to come from nothing and to change your lives and to change your community and to change your countries. It starts by only one initiative. Uh, we wanted to help people. Our target was women. There is a very big percentage of ladies in Rwanda who have unwanted pregnancies. The main cause of this is lack of information. I'm here to be ambassador of where I come from. We photographers are reframing our continent and they're also reframing where we come from, our narratives. This program that I'm running, it's about letting girls know their strength. If you want to be a rich person, you have to fight for it. If you want to be lazy, you have to go to sleep. If you want to succeed, you have to walk, stand up and rise and shine. The future is bright, why? Because I swear to God, there's nothing that we have not seen so far. There's nothing in this country that can intimidate us. Because I figured we have died already. What can possibly be worse than that?